What's the best way to treat a dog with a cruciate ligament injury? There are many ways to answer this question. The average carer starts by searching online. Let's give it a try. Over 7 million results. So now what do we do? We've got more questions than answers. Here's a good one. Can a cruciate ligament in a dog heal itself? What does this source say? I'll tell you. According to them, it's entirely possible for a dog to recover from an ACL tear without surgery. Many dogs heal through surgical alternatives like orthopaedic braces and supplements. Great news. But is it true? Stay tuned and I'll answer this question for you. Here are 30 dogs. They represent our ideal outcome, unrestricted exercise and no need for painkillers. What's the likelihood of this outcome if we don't operate? In a 2017 study, 173 dogs were managed using custom braces. In the long term, 6 out of 10 required painkillers, with 4 out of 10 taking a combination of two painkillers. The average lameness score was 3 out of 5, with 5 being the severest grade. This study teaches us that we must be careful with online claims. Any claim that dogs can return to normal requires proof, not anecdote. We don't have that proof for non-surgical management, but what about surgical management? Three studies, including 329 pets, use computer gait analysis to see if operated dogs return to normal. Here's the take-home message from these studies. Of all the operations, TPLO consistently achieved the best outcome. It resulted in normal function within a year of surgery in around 95% of dogs. This means we don't need to lose any of these 30 individuals. What are the downsides of TPLO? The answer is cost, surgical aftercare and risk. How many of our 30 dogs would suffer a complication which would trigger a second operation? In a study of 1,519 TPLOs performed by board certified specialists, around 1 in 30 needed a second operation. How does TTA compare? A review of 91 published studies showed a second operation is about twice as likely after TTA. If you read testimonials describing TPLO or TTA outcome, the chance you'll notice this important difference is very small. The other easily missed difference is the impact of a board certified specialist. The reason you'll miss this is that non-specialists rarely publish their results. This doesn't imply their results are poor, but what it does imply is that we don't know the outcome of non-specialist TPLO. Surgery is more than just an operation. It's a product of the individual doing the procedure and the expert team around them.